In this video, we'll be creating a chain for our road design. Chains enable you to run complex workflows, which may contain many steps at the click of a button. The workflow we'll be putting in our chain is for the steps needed after we change the design of our road. So after a change to the horizontal or vertical geometry of the center line, or the links being used in the templates being applied. To create a new chain, select Utilities, Chains, Create. I'll type in a chain file name, stage one, and select enter to give the file the relevant extension. Just ignoring the top of the chain panel now, which is used for more advanced chains than what we'll be setting up today. This first insert icon enables you to insert what's called a chain command. We can use chain commands to reference panels that are processed in 12D, among other things. Then we're presented with the option to choose the type of chain command. I'll select the filter icon next to the type field. And we get here categories containing each of the available chain commands. I won't go through all of them and what they do because there are almost a hundred. But when you expand these categories, for the most part, they are quite straightforward in what they do, such as in the execution category. You are able to recalculate functions, delete functions, plotting, you can even run chains within other chains and so on. By default in the create chain panel, function is selected. And it just so happens that this is the type of chain command we require first to recalculate the apply template function. So I'll close this choice panel. Then in the function field, I'll select the function icon and pick the RS1 function. I'll just click on the left here to refresh the chain command name in the panel. Now it's good practice to comment your chains so that anyone else who opens the chain can understand the thought process behind it without jumping into the details of what's going on. Also, when you come back to the chain after a period of time, you can pick it up and remember what you were getting at. So I'll select the word commands, then insert which will insert a new chain command above the one we just placed uh, and select the chain command type uh, under other. We'll double click comment. Then in the command name, I'll type recalculate road strings, sections and tins. And again, click on the left to refresh the command name. I'll continue adding a comment before each chain command. This time I'll actually copy and paste the comment to save having to select the comment type again. So I'll select the comment, then select the copy button, then select our second chain command and select paste. And then I'll change the name of the comment. The next step in my chain will be to delete the existing volume report file that gets created when the volumes are calculated. Because as you can see, when we click volume again on this panel, we get prompted with what we want to do with the existing report. This existing report is never going to be relevant to us again because we've updated the design. So we're going to delete it so we don't get this prompt each time we run the chain. I'll just cancel that and I'll put delete volume report in the comment name. Then insert a new chain command and select the filter icon next to type. And this time I'll look under files and then select delete file. I'll then pick the folder icon and select from the working folder, the volume report file, which I called stage one volumes. I'll then click in the file field to populate the command name, then click on the left to refresh the name in the command list. Then finally, the last step in the chain is to calculate the volumes. I'll copy this previous comment again and paste. Update the comment 
calculate volumes. But we run into a problem that we don't have a way to run the volume analysis panel because it's not controlled by a function. So the way we do this is through what's called a screen layout file. A screen layout file enables you to save a panel with all of the information in it filled out. To create this, left click the 12D icon on the top left corner of the exact volume between tins panel and select dump. Then we get a save panel, which enables us to choose the location to save this screen layout file. I'll select dump to write the file to my working folder. Then finish off these panels. Now the volumes panel is closed. If I need to recover this panel with all of the information filled out, I can by selecting file, layouts, layout input, then selecting the relevant screen layout file from the working folder, which I have only one. And you'll see the panel is restored with all the information entered. We can now reference this screen layout file in our chain. So select insert in the chain panel, in the type field, expand execution, then pick screen layout file. Then in the SLF field, select from the working folder, the exact volume between TIN's screen layout file. Again, click in the SLF field to populate the command name. Then click on the left to refresh the command name in the list. And we have finished our chain. I'll write this chain to my working folder by selecting write. So now when the design is altered, we can just run this chain to then run through the entire process which is recalculating the road shrinks, sections and tins, then deleting the volume report, and then calculating the new volumes and re-outputting the color plot. This is a very simple chain, but chains can get very complex and can automate extensive workflows to make it easier for companies to follow standard processes. Let's go ahead and edit the template being used on the left-hand side of the road so that we can see the chain in action. Select design, Templates, Create Edit, select the ABC icon and pick Full Left. We'll select the fixed part of the template and all we're going to do is add in one extra link which will be two meters wide and one meter deep. And for the link name, we'll type in DIR and press enter. And DIR is for the invert of an open drain. Then apply and draw to view the cross section. And you can see the link here is what we've added. Then finish on both of these panels. Then to run the chain, just select run on the chain panel. The volume report opens up which is a good sign because this occurs in the last step of our chain. So we know it's run through the entire chain. And we have updated earthworks. So a lot more cut than we previously had. Uh, I'll close this report. We immediately see that an updated color plot has been produced, which we could see in the plan view. I'll also redraw the perspective view by zooming in and out. And you can see we now have an open drain on the left side of the road. I'll also bring up the uh, excess section view. Uh, just remove the color plot from the plan view. Then profile one of the cross sections. And in that view, you can see the open earth drain there on the left side of the road. So that chain has run through that entire redesign process with just one click.